back with another video guys hope you guys are doing good we're gonna go over a couple stocks okay so we're gonna go over straight stocks straight chart all key levels as you can tell in the first one that we we're talking about very big large movement off of this one now the first thing that we we'll talk about actually has been moving pretty large so you want to remember where the run came from from entry to exit it's about 243 percent on the high side so what does that mean that means one we need to be cautious two we need to have risk management three don't go too heavy make sure you have a plan for your entries and exits anytime you see a stock like this this is why i'm actually putting it as a first one you want to be mindful of that so just in case you don't go heavy and then it crashes down because sometimes it can do that okay every time this one had a run and don't worry i'll tell you guys what's the stock name in a minute every time it had a run it had that pullback least expected time to have to run pullback and these are hard pullbacks right these are not subtle soft pullbacks these are very hard pullbacks ran up pullback ran up again pullback ran up pullback okay so just be mindful of that it does show a pattern of that and then big shout out to dm he donated over 20 dollars uh for some stocks and this is one that i actually saw some key levels on so shout out to dm make sure you guys you can always click that super thanks it's right next to the like if you want to tip me if you guys enjoy the levels but the first thing we'll talk about is f f i e f f i e right there for you guys actually let me change it to red maybe you can see a little better f f i e now this one just got out of that penny stock territory about a couple like last week pretty much got out of that penny stock territory remember any stock below five dollars is considered a penny stock so what we want to do is where's a buying level where's the x level right all the levels that i am looking out for so let me go ahead into the 30 minute chart i'll put the levels on there first and then i'll let you guys know what those levels are let me zoom out a little bit put this one right here make sure you guys don't forget subscribe smash the like button thank you guys for being here i appreciate you guys let's go back to the video okay so now we have our two levels okay actually this is a buying level so i'll turn that green first level is a exit level right around eight dollars and fifty cents eight dollars fifty cents that is a resistance level that i'm looking at right now on fi uh F -F -I -E. That's the resistance level I'm looking at right now, $8.50. And for the buying level, we're actually looking at about $6.50. So current price is right around like $7.53. So it needs to drop a dollar uh, for me to want to enter. Okay. So if it doesn't drop at all, then I probably won't enter. Okay. Because there's no like point of putting that risk on when there's been no type of pullback. So we need pullback to actually enter. But from entry to exit, about a 30% gain, okay? But not, again, not financial advice. I'm just letting you guys know what levels I'm looking at, how I'm looking to play it. So that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. About 30% gain on uh, FFIV exit level and entry level. But remember, where price is now. So make sure you watch it. We will need that pullback. Hopefully by like Monday or Tuesday, we can get that pullback in the range. And then I can try to enter off that, but we will see, okay? So if y'all got, if you guys want updates on this, just let me know in the comment section down below. Just put FFIE update so I know. Second one we'll talk about is REV, R-E-V, ticker symbol R-E-V. So let's go ahead and take all these old levels off because we're going to put new levels on here. And let me type it out also. So R-E-V, right there, okay? This is what we're talking about right now. This, this used to be, I think, the number one shortest stock, and I think it has gone down um, just a little bit. R-E-V, take that off. Let's go out a little bit right here okay so notice how rev they actually have earnings about august 11th so we ha still have a little time um to try to play this one but notice how rev is kind of in a range currently right so it really hasn't been moving out of here so this is very important with this one you don't want to get stuck in something like this right so right now it looks pretty stuck so i'm gonna give you guys a level on the upside and a level on the downside one of those levels needs to break for me to want to play it okay because in this range we really can't play it because it's not doing too much. It's kind of just stalling out in here. And then you don't want to just be sitting in here hoping it goes up, hoping it goes somewhere, right? So we actually want to wait until that movement actually occurs. So with that being said, I'll give you guys um I'll give you guys two levels. Two levels. Okay. So now these levels, they're not buying levels or entry levels. These are levels that I would need um I would need to break on the upside or downside. They need to break first to tell us more on how the stock really wants to move okay so i'll put the levels on here first and like i said i'll let you guys know so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make these levels orange 
So these are like warning levels, okay? Because remind you, if it stays in here, notice how it's in this range. You really don't want to play that, right? You really don't want to play that. The only way you could play this type of range is every time it comes down, just trade it back to the upside. That's the only way that I would play it. And that would be actually a pretty good game, about 20 or 30% gain. So we'll kind of see. I might play that pattern, just throw a little money in there, see how it flows. But again, very risky. But these are my two warning levels right here. $6.50 and $5 on Rev. So I'll go ahead and write this out. $6.50. Let's make that uh, orange. So this is the level. Now remember, these are levels that it needs to break. If it doesn't break these levels, I won't be playing it. Okay. And if you guys want updates on this one, just let me know in the comment section down below. Just put uh, update REV. So needs to break six fifth on the upside that we could potentially trade on the upside. I'll update you guys or it needs to break that $5 on the downside, and then we could potentially trade it if it hits a buying level or so forth. But these are the major levels I'm kind of looking out for Rev. Now, don't forget, make sure you go watch the two videos I have earlier today. I got one on high shorted stocks on the stock market, and this one, very big for the stock market. I go over what the market is going to be looking for tomorrow and what is actually going to be moving the market tomorrow. Make sure you watch this video also. So two videos, make sure you watch them. Also, FDA approval on Monday on this stock. You got Excel right here. And you got a warning, stop buying stocks. I did stop buying stocks, so make sure you check that out. Make sure you check out all the videos. Subscribe also if you're not subscribed. I know some of you guys watch this and you're not subscribed. So let's get the channel over 100K subscribers. That is the goal. And follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. We're almost at 1,000 followers. That is the goal. Will.knowledge, go follow me. So on Rev, that was it. So also, I want to go over IMPP. Now, with this one, I'm going to let you guys know. Hold on. Hold your horses. I M P P. I'm gonna turn this red. Maybe you see it a little better. So I M P P. Uh, this is what we're talking about right now. So I uh, right there. This is a penny stock. Let me zoom out. Okay. Now this one needs movement also. Okay. I wanted to add this one here because that's one. I seen a lot of comments on it, so I do want to address it. We can't trade this one right now. Or well, I'm not gonna trade it right now. Okay. Again, I've been advice and let you guys know what I'm doing, but I'm not going to trade this right now because it's really showing no movement. We need movement. If you could tell, just look at this, right? Nothing's going on here since like July, since the beginning of July. Nothing has really been going on and it's just been dropping with no real like points of trades in here, right? The only time it was actually tradable when we had this type of movement and that was all the way like the beginning of June. So really can't trade it in here. I wanted to add it in here just real quick. Can't trade it. We need more movement. And there's no, there's not even clear like levels, resistance level, support level, nothing like that yet. So we do need more movement on IMPP. Okay. I just want to let you guys know about that. Now, Redbox. Let's take all these levels off. This is Redbox Entertainment, ticker symbol RDBX. Um, yeah, let me. RDBX. I'll go ahead and type it out. There you go. RDBX. Also, make sure you guys join the private live streams. The link is in the description. It's the second link. In the description, join the private live streams. I will be starting live streams August 1st. So they'll be like the regular YouTube live streams. It'll just be all private. Okay, August 1st, that will start. Make sure you sign up. Second link in that description. So RDBX, this is the one we're talking about right now. Heavy pull down, right? Heavy pull down. It honestly hasn't gave any trades, um, I would say. Actually, it hasn't gave any trades since the last pump up it had. And I know uh, some people were holding this stock. Remember what I told you guys, right? Didn't I tell you guys Redbox Entertainment was going below $5? Where is it now? $4.37, okay? This is why I say don't miss a video, smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Because I was telling you guys, even some people in the Discord room, I told them, like, I think it's going to go to below $5. Look where it is now, okay? Like I said, I try to give you guys the best levels possible. But with that being said, now we have a nice little buying level that I actually want to buy. So I'm going to give you guys a... Entry to exit, entry to exit, and then, yeah, so let me put that on here, All right there. I'll put the levels first, and then I'll uh, go ahead and explain it. So while I'm putting the levels on there, you can smash that like button. While you're at it, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, right here, okay. So this is the resistance level at $6, and then the buying level is actually at $4. So six dollars is the exit level. I know. I know you guys uh, like when I write it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these um, right here, and then four dollars is the entry level. Oh, let me turn that green. 
right here okay so entry exit four dollars to six dollars should be a pretty decent gain yeah around like 49 percent. but knowing me i probably take half off at like 20 percent take another half off at like 30 then probably let the rest run to that six dollar mark okay but just be mindful of that this is a level that i'm kind of looking at and also notice how red box right now is right around four dollars and 35 cents it actually doesn't need to go all the way down to that four dollar mark it could start from where it is now so kind of watch that one closely um in the morning we'll see how it kind of moves but the four dollars is like where i really wanted to go but if it goes from here i could still trade it up to about six dollars and then it will still be a nice gain of like 38 percent, right so still a good gain just kind of uh watch that <clears throat> i did want to add that into the video red box last well not last one but another one is actually Amazon. So Amazon stock, ticker symbol A A M Z N. A M Z N. Take that off. Also, make sure you guys get up to five free stocks when you deposit any amount in your Momo account. Okay. The link will be in the description. Make sure you get your Momo account. I'll also uh pin it in the comments also. Okay. So make sure you get your Momo account and get up to five free stocks when you so you can deposit a dollar and get five free stocks. Okay. So why not do it? It's the best time to get free stocks right now while the market is crashed down. And I even think the market is going to get worse. So just be mindful of that. But get your free stocks uh, with Momo. Deposit a dollar. I am sponsored by Momo. Also, follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. Go ahead and follow me. And don't forget, make sure you go watch the other two videos I posted today. One on two high shorter stocks and also one on three important factors for the stock market tomorrow. Make sure you watch this before the market opens also. Okay. Now, uh, Amazon. Okay. Let me show you guys something on Amazon. So first thing I want to show you guys on Amazon is it's been in a wider range, right? We are at the bottom of that range. So even if you just traded it from where it is now to the top range, you'll get close to about a 10% gain. Do I want to do that? I actually was going to trade Amazon shorter term and I was going to buy shares, but I didn't. Okay, full disclosure, I didn't. I do hold Amazon long term though. I do hold Amazon long term because this is the first drop we had in Amazon since what? 2020, 2019. The first drop remember it traded sideways all through here and then we finally had those drops here so of course i'm gonna buy that right but that's the first thing i want to show you on amazon trading sideways let me take that off now key level i'm watching on amazon and it's really the only level that i'm watching on amazon to actually trade it um once let me see where's that okay so 112 and then I'm gonna put I'm gonna put first exit because actually a couple exits that I want to do, but just for the video sake, I'll just put one right now. So these are the two levels that I'm looking at. Okay, exit level is about 125, 125. That's the exit level that I'm kind of looking at on Amazon stock. Now this is a shorter term type of trade. Um, I'll probably trade it as a swing trade because a scalp. Amazon doesn't move that fast for me to scalp it within that same day. So it'll probably be like a swing trade a couple days or so. But 125 is that exit level that I'll be looking out for. And then the buying level is actually right around like 112. Okay, 112 is kind of what I'll be looking at um, here. So let me see. Let me turn that green. Right there. Okay, so 112, that's what I'm kind of like, like. I really want to get in. I was going to get in, but I waited. Okay, I want to see how the weekend was going over because now in these market conditions, holding something for over the weekend is very risky, right? So I'm trying to be a little more um, risk management on and a little less risk off, okay? So from entry to exit, that's about 11% gain. Remember, it's Amazon. Unless you do options, you probably won't get that big of a gains unless you hold it for years, right? I do think Amazon is going to be well over $100 in the coming year. So I am buying it long term. I still feel Amazon is going to go below $100, but right now, this is a swing potential trade that I'm looking at, 112 to about 125. And then last one is Roblox, ticker symbol RBLX, RBLX. So let me type this out. Don't worry, guys. I got all new audio coming. I got new 4K camera coming. I got new setups coming. Um, just be patient. I'm making the videos better for you guys. Do not worry. So uh, RBLX right there. That's the one we're going to be talking about. We go ahead and zoom in. Had a little range. Okay. It had a little range right here. Slowly starting to break that on the upside. Right? Well, it was once a resistance, 
it's trying to show as a support if I spread it out, right? So that is a little bullishness to me. So I'll give you guys a couple levels. I know the video is long, probably around 15 minutes or so. So I'll go ahead and give you guys the levels on um, um, blah, 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 on Roblox. Uh, let me see. So probably around, okay. Let me put this. Make sure you guys don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. So entry to exit, probably exit earlier. So yeah, I probably put the exit right around like $50. So entry is probably like 40 and then exit would be around 50. So exit right around 50. And like I said, that's an early exit. I probably won't exit the whole position um, at that $50, 40. Let's put it here. Okay, there you go. So those are probably the main two levels that I'm looking out for on uh, Roblox entry to exit, about a 25% gain. Very nice gains. I like how it's breaking out of that range that it had. I like how it's testing that resistance as a support. And I like the movement that it had Friday. If I can zoom in, that movement that it had Friday, very strong, okay? So we wanna make sure that kind of holds throughout the week. This will be a swing trade also. I don't think it's gonna get up to that $50 mark that fast. So kind of watch that. But main levels I'm looking out for Roblox. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, make sure you go watch the two previous videos. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And also make sure you go check out check out my second channel on Will Knowledge Crypto. I'm about to post uh, about three to four crypto videos right after this video comes out. Okay, so make sure you go after watching this one. Make sure you go uh, watch the Will Knowledge Crypto. Post some videos over here. Everything on crypto I'm posting over here. So make sure you go subscribe. I'm trying to get that channel over ten thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it. And make sure you follow my Instagram at Will knowledge so thank you guys for being here always remember no recommendation of buyer so anything this for education purposes only so do not trade anything you see or hear in the video i'll catch you guys in the next one